I'd like to introduce Harvey McCoy. Hello, everyone. I want to thank you all for coming. Fifteen years ago, I wrote a book called The Grand Affliction. The monster was beginning to show his true colors. He was bound to self-destruct. The end. Okay, let's have some positives about Greg's story. Is it wrong to admit that I was rooting for the monster the entire time? Your story was jarring. I am so sorry. Does the name Harvey McCoy mean anything to you? It just so happens he's looking for an assistant for this new book tour that he has. I think I'm your assistant. All right. This book tour, is it for a new book? This is the 15th anniversary tour of the Grand Affliction, not the 16th! So your job is gonna be to pack this place, okay? That's the most important thing, pack this place. Do you think you'll have time tonight to read my short story? So do you think you'll have time enough to read my short story? <gasps> That's perfect. I really don't understand what you want me to write. A scathing letter. To the library? Let's go, assist. Assist! Just thought I'd get some writerly advice or some knowledge or something, but... I'm a New York Times best-selling author. Where the hell are you? Are you running away? I quit. You can't quit. There's nowhere to go. You're in the middle of nowhere. But if I put a book out, it's out there forever. That 300-page book was meant for one person only. That's what I call serendipity. <laughs> There's no such thing as writer's block. There's no such thing as writer's block. It's distraction. 